Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays where today we're doing a, a bit of Manhunt Landmark. Uh, this is similar to Checkpoint but the main difference is that, in, that all of the checkpoints are available all of the time um, and the hunters are told what direction I'm in from them. And I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to try doing this at speed rather than trying to be subtle um, because trying to be subtle didn't work so well for me last time so I think it's time to try something a little bit different and also one of the other people who's been playing with us uh, tried doing it quickly and um, it went quite well for him so I think it's worth a shot so we've got oh I don't know I've, I've, I've got the wrong discord thing up but I think there's probably about half a dozen um, hunters this time so it's going to be a little bit more dangerous for me than it often is so I'm gonna try but I'm still I'm gonna try and take some of these checkpoints without them catching me and doing all the usual ramming me off the road and shooting me and all that sort of shenanigans so that's one checkpoint done. And I'm not going to hang around and mess around for this run because, yeah, as I say, they, they, they're going to know pretty much where I am all the time, so I need to keep moving. And now there's another checkpoint round this way in the oil fields area, so I'm going to try and get over there as quickly as I can and take that one. And if I keep, my hope is that if I keep moving fast enough, then they'll be struggling to react to what I'm doing rather than me reacting to what they're doing. Okay, I can just see it on the horizon down there. There's the there's a red glow in the sky. That's the next. That's the second checkpoint. So I'm going to try and get that one again without basically without lifting my foot off the accelerator. <laughs> oh, there's a hunter there waiting for me. Okay, he, I either he either didn't see me or didn't twig. Um, if I now carry on along here, this is going to take me across the ooh big uh, wobble there. This is going to take me onto the bridge that goes over Elysian Island and out towards the airport. And there's another checkpoint out, out this way. Am I going the right way? I'm not going the right way. It's further down this road. This is the correct road. So I'm going to keep going this way. And head round all these cars, hopefully. There we go. Then following the highway. The highway just means I can go quicker and, and easily and... I'm not even trying to be subtle, uh, just, just just going for it. And then off the other end of this, I'm then going to have to do a quick 180 and then get back onto the um, the other sort of bit of highway around to get the the next checkpoint, which is sort of the in the um, in the spaghetti junction bit by the by the airport. Uh, some slightly fiddly driving to get through here, but I'm actually quite impressed with myself. I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not used. To, ooh famous last words. I was going to say, quite impressed with myself, I'm doing quite doing rather well and not hitting too much, and so of course I then immediately hit something. But yeah, if I can get over this bridge, I then need to loop back a bit, and there you go, you can see the uh, checkpoints appearing on the mini-map now, so I need to get down to that. And this bridge is kind of infamous for being awkward to get off, because it's got these, it's just, it's, it's narrow, it's got walls on either side of it, you can't drop off it to get down to the uh, the other bit of highway down there. So I need to try and get round here and maybe even go off-road once I'm able to. I think somewhere around here, is there a gap in the wall? Yes, there we go. Let's take that. Going down here. And then if I can get onto the highway down here. Oh, this is... Okay, this isn't the normal way to approach this checkpoint. But I think that's probably for the best because that makes me less obvious. There we go, that's three checkpoints. There's something to this speed mark. Okay, so that's three of them, I think. So there's the fourth and fifth one. So there's there's one over by Chinese Monument, I think, and there's one up in uh, in Vinewood. So let's go for, let's go for Vinewood first because it's probably actually the further away one. And so it's going to be the less it's going to be more surprising for me to go there. I don't know how much my I mean normally when I'm when I'm doing the uh, the checkpoint runs, I try to be. I try to be unpredictable and do and go to th do things in an or in orders and ways they're probably not going to expect me to do them. I don't know if that idea is quite so applicable when I'm already when I'm just taking everything up flat out like this. But so far, the speed thing has worked rather well for me, so I'm going to carry on doing it. Oop. Ah, mostly so, mostly good. So mostly good, mostly good. But the fact that I've not seen any of the hunters yet is a bit odd. It's making me wonder if something's gone wrong with the game mode. Um, but I mean the checkpoints are still there, so I'm going to keep grabbing them. <laughs> There's one up here, and then I need to head over to the um, carry on west over that way to try and get the the last one, which I believe is basically Chinese Monument sort of area. Um, 
And I think... I think that's it. Um, it depends if I can count and if I can remember the checkpoints properly. So we'll, we'll find out once I get over that way. Um, yeah, still no... Still no hunters, which is... I mean, in theory, they they know what direction I'm in from them at all times, roughly, well, until they get close to me at least. So oh, that gives me a... Oh, don't drive into parked cars, Lawrence. That's not the way to do this. So I said don't drive into parked... There's, there's purple. Get unstuck from that. There we go. That was purple zipping across, straight across there. So he's making a beeline for the last checkpoint because they know he knows where I'm going now. There's only one more to go. Um, let's see, Chinese monument is that down? I wish my car. I wish I hadn't damaged my car <laughs> um, because then I could try doing a little bit of sneaking. But I think there just isn't really time for that. So I'm pretty sure it's down this way. Yeah, down here. Yes, there it is on the end, along along this road. A couple of cars falling out of the sky. That's unexpected. I mean, I know this game mode is a little glitchy at times, but that's not the sort of glitch I expect to see. So let's take that. There we go. There's a hundred of white. That was a white um, Windsor, so that looks kind of hunterish. I think that's all of them. So I'm going to run off down this way now and hide down here in the sort of the weird areas and have a quick look at the map. And see if I can. Let's go down here, and this is a... Oh, no, it's not an alleyway. I want an alleyway. Come on, find me an alleyway to hide in while I while I have a quick map stop. That's what I have to do. Right. Map. Um, yeah, that looks like a clean sweep. Excellent. <laughs> it's not quite the um, the feel I like to, I like to have with these, with these um, games, because it was... And I feel that doing it like that was a bit not quite the spirit I usually go for. But, um, yeah, I think I went quite well. I'll have to try um, setting up some new rules, some rules that basically say don't take them at a dead sprint like that. Let's take a coquette, that'll help me escape. I can't believe that purple car missed me doing that. Um, Let's cry, drive away slowly in this and see if they, uh, see if anyone says anything in the uh, in the chat. Because last time we basically, because we don't think there's an official. So let's let's get away from here a bit. I'll find somewhere to stop, and then I'll put I'll drop a message in chat saying, "Hey, I've got them all." Ah, there we go. 